Uh, everybody, this is Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament. I'm actually not going to take any break right now because we got to get to the last game. Thank you so much for those who have hosted, those who have subscribed, and those who are supporting the channel in various other ways. Much love to the people who lurk as well. Ah, oh, yeah, lurkers, I love ya. Lurkers, I want to lick ya. The licker lurker. Yeah. Actually, let, let's not lick the lurkers. Hello, thank you so much for this upgrade line. Now let's go ahead and reveal our GM for today, for the final game of the day. We've got Corn Dan. Oh, Angie Bird. Very, very Angie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lick you, okay? I got a shot, but I'm still not gonna lick anyone. No, ugh. Corn Dan, they want me to lick them. What do you think about licking? <laughs> Are you there, Corn Dad? I can't hear you. <laughs> Corn Dad's just, he's speechless, okay? Well, he's a bird now. This this is what happens. I, I, I'm not speechless. Oh. My computer's just being dumb. And that licking had better be consensual. Don't lick me. I don't consent to that. You don't consent to me licking you. Okay. I do not. That's fine. I'll go ahead and say uh, no licking the corn, Dan. Well, you know, I feel like this game might lick the players uh, in one no, way or no, another. No, no, it'll, it'll, it'll punch the players. Punch the players? What do you mean? Well, I, it, it's a very difficult game that might punch them. Uh, corn, Dan, I actually have a different version of this game uh, on one of my handheld boot, like, well, Data East handheld devices that I, I mean, it's, actually have it's an ocean games. game. Yeah. Okay, it's and, an ocean and game. It's Punch Bear. It, it, it's Legend of Prince Valiant. I yes. love Prince Valiant. Honestly, this game has some really cool ideas as well. Not super well implemented, uh, but it's, I think it's a lot of fun. Okay. I, you know what? The game, the game is definitely fails a lot on implementation and everything right and what it tries to do um but i kind of like the game yeah yeah i really uh like the game i think the version that i have on my handheld is a robin hood variant which is exactly the Maybe. same it just says robin hood instead so here's the best part right you know chat's asking why they made a prince valiant game not only did they make a prince valiant game so they made a game based on it U.S. cartoon based on a U.S. comic. They didn't really sit in the U.S. Well, I mean, maybe they just, yeah. Which came first, the Robin Hood or the Val Valiant? That's I don't know. Same. I guess maybe we'll discover today. Uh, maybe, but probably not. Probably not. Yeah. That's okay. We can discover the truth later on. We don't need to know the truth, okay? We're here for bad games. And simply put, uh, the truth is that every game deserves to be loved and cherished unless I it legit is like Homie D Clown. I legit like Homie D Clown too. It has ideas and screwed them all up, but it has ideas. Oh, it screwed them all up, yeah. So how are you doing, Corn Dan? I'm doing good. Well, good. I I am refinancing my house. That's going to save me a lot of money. Yes. You're like doing what Senior Cart Gage Mort Gage wants you to do. Yes. Yeah. Refinancing. I don't know. And, and I'm taking pictures of things that show up in my backyard. Like Ooh. that angry bird. I love the angry bird. Okay. I see one person does not appear to be streaming. No, go... they're all streaming. I have all four of them streaming. Oh my gosh, it's because their Twitch name is different from the one them. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. Welcome to my life where uh, people actually change Twitch names all the time, and I have to keep up with it, but rarely have the ability to do so. It's okay. I'll do it. I'm gonna have it. We'll be fine.
Okay, there we go. And get that going. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, don't worry, everybody. It's fine to make me jump through the hoops. It just takes a little wow. while to do it sometimes. So why is that bird so mad, people ask? And the answer is that bird's actually pretty happy because I put out a bunch of um, seed. I just happened to catch that bird at a, at a good time. He's so cute. Like, Gra honestly, crackles it... are crackles are pretty good birds. It's a crackle. Yeah, they're they're like big they're like big black birds. They're really cool when you get them up close because they're not actually black. It's iridescent feathers. There's like greens and purples and everything in there. And um, they're technically songbirds, but they don't know how to song. And <laughs> you know, they just like yell at you so they could go on american idol and it would be amazing oh, oh yeah they, they are they, they would get the um the contract not because how good their um you know not because how good their voice is but specifically how bad of it oh i love it i love it pants on the ground pants on the ground look like a fool with your pants on the ground pick them up pretty much yeah they, they do puff up i have not seen one puff up out of the grackles that show up at our place but they do know that that's probably because they like you too much. Just saying, Corn Dan. Birds don't pop up if they like you. They pop up if they're scared of you. No, they, these pop up to like yell. To what? Like they yell. They they yell a lot. Oh yeah yeah. Um. So yes. Well, everybody, uh, I, I know that we had a previous prediction for match three that was uh, going. We still haven't quite resolved that uh, yet. Hopefully we are able to do so in a little while. Well, hopefully, we... hopefully hmm? they're both on the same side of the screen and then you can resolve it anyway. They weren't. Oh. Yeah, I can't do anything about that, Corn Dan. I know. I was thinking that as well. Thank you, everybody, by the way, who has followed, hosted, subbed, who has dropped some bits, and who has told friends about uh, about the stream. Honestly, we give out a lot of prizes for the bracket later on, and it is extremely helpful to cover those. Yeah. Well, we're going to go ahead and get going soon. Uh, it looks like all of them are ready. Okay, I am getting this going. Uh, what should chat spam? Um, princes and, and valiants and bears and um, knives, uh, snakes, oh, traps. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, <laughs> we are getting started here. This is the last match of the day. Remember, we have four more tomorrow. Make sure if you want to watch And, and we already here. have the death. Yeah, that happens. So yeah, th this game, if you're playing it blind for the very, very first time, in fact, we have two deaths, um, there's a trap there and you just have to jump over it. But when you don't know it for the first time, you fall into it. Everybody falls into it. Uh, Cause it's wonderful. Valiant must cross the marsh any way he can using safe areas. Now, Blade, Ma Blade Workmaster is actually reading this at the beginning. Sometimes there is helpful information in text. There is not here. It, not it, for this one. It, it, this is like the story so far. You're going to go on a quest for Camelot. And um, and so you have to go through all this stuff. And so you're in a swamp, right? That, that's really all you know right now. Um, Gross. So you're armed with, I don't know what, it, it, knives I think you're supposed to be throwing, right? Uh, and you can have like two on screen at once and you're supposed to get through this um, swamp. Yeah, it doesn't look like, like it's not too swampy. You're not. No, mm. it's, it's not bad. Um, I mean, most of the enemies come at you early on. They're like one hit later. They take a little bit of two. There's a couple of drops that are um, here. Um, e is energy. That's your health. T is time. Um, the coins are score or, or tokens. I think you get like a one up with like 20 or 30 of them. Okay. It's like not like a hundred. It's, it, it's a weird. 
One, um, one thing that I really uh, hate about this game, by the way, is that, uh, specifically the isometric style ground. It did not need to be like that. And because of the way it is, uh, it can be difficult to see where the edge of a platform is or where yes. you're going to land. And that actually matters because of death traps. A lot it of does. death traps. But I mean, so fortunately, most of the death traps, right? At, at least early on, are also isometric with you, right? So it, it, it's not so bad. Now, the Kuchiri is Kuchiri is at the first like mini boss, right? Um, Voltus and cat related pun are going to be there too. Yeah. Inevitably, everybody tries to jump it on their own the first time, uh, and you can't do that, right? You you actually have to wait for the snake to come up, which Voltus is figuring out. Mm -hmm. and cat related pun also figured out by making that jump and so when you kill the snake by shooting it in the head a lot with or throwing knives or whatever um then the, it starts moving yeah so I'm, I'm taking a look at this game uh it was released in 1992 very late in the nes yep lifetime but to be fair that's when the comic was or that's when the show There's was really show. running 91 through 93 so if that mattered at all if you know it, well, it was released in the u.s then that would make sense to have it come out at that time but it wasn't i, I mean the show was on the u.s in the u.s and i don't think the show was in europe I don't know. I don't know where the show yeah, was. I, I'm pretty sure it was on like the US network. Uh, let's see. Prince Valiant. Uh, all right. But while, while you're digging research. up, let's, yeah, okay. let, let's talk about one of the crappiest things in the, the first like swamp area are these stupid bats, right? Because they can hit you, fortunately for Rurik, or uh, for not for Rurik, uh, Kuchiri, he's on the, that, big island which gives you a little bit of room the bats deal damage to you and they knock you back which means if you're on one of the little platforms the bats inevitably are going to kill you okay don't kill me yeah my guess so. is that there uh may have been some releases specifically in europe that it may have run somebody in chat is saying that it was in french uh I, I mean, it could have been, right? I'm just saying, you know, I, I don't think it aired in Europe, right? This game only released in Europe. I don't even think the, the game came over to Canada. Right? It, it's PAL only. Hey, uh, Stream Hatman is saying there was a French pr version that played in Quebec and they didn't dub it there. So I'll go ahead and say... Not 100% sure. I'm not even 90% sure. I'm like 2%. Uh, so Kachiri has made it to the first boss, um, which is a demon, dragon, whatever. There's an easy strategy for it. Literally get all the way over on the right hand screen and spam the attack button as fast as possible. Yeah, but that worked as well, just standing there and doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I love it. So anyway, we now have a level one complete, right? And you're thinking, oh, okay, this is a side scrolling, whatever. You would be terribly wrong. Because now we're going to a first person oh, this part. on rail shooter. Oh yeah. Which this is the part where time actually matters, right? Because you kind of stop to like attack these guys, right? So if you take a long time, right? Yeah. You're going to run out of time. So kind of time doesn't really matter on the first stage. Like you're inevitably going to get there. Time definitely matters on the second stage. And, and you can get like, you know, these guys will drop time when you kill them. Um, and, and as long as you're kind of consistent with who's attacking, you know, being good on who's attacking you, um, you probably, like, energy is not going to be the problem, but time will. 
So from what I'm seeing, by the way, this was in Germany and France. Uh, Germany the actually show? had a DVD box release as well later oh, on. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, apparently it found some success over there in Europe, which would make sense that they would release it there. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Considering um, that Ocean is a European country. Yeah, I, sure. I am going... I'm gonna, um, yeah, interrupt you to say that Cadis has said that Kate Pango is officially the victor Holy in the last match. Holy crap, Kate, first Kusagrani match ever, and just barely taking a victory away from Mikip? That is awesome. Congratulations there. Uh, and so, um... So everybody, Button. we have a new prediction going. Is somebody from the left or the right going to take the victory today? And I, I would definitely say, don't even worry about what's going on right now. Like, I don't expect people to get through level three. Okay, Ocean is not a country. It's a software development company. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> oh, so, you know. Yeah, honestly, I'm not going to spoil who I think would take the victory in this match. I've got some ideas for who may do really well, but that's because I know some of the players here. Well, yeah, but some of them are new. I yeah. think we're, we're about half and half. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the, the top half are old players. The bottom half are new players. I think you are correct. Yeah. So I never actually watched Prince Valiant, did you? Nope, I've seen the comic, but I've never... Probably for the best, yeah. Yep. Uh, by the way, I mean, I've played this game. I've, I've played this game mostly to completion. I made it to level four. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, and and it, it's a game I've been meaning to see about like speed running. But I don't know if there's any speed tech in it. It's just like good execution. I mean, I personally really like games that, uh, you know, you just have to play good. You have to get good in order to do a speed run of. Uh, some games that have really cool glitches or really funny glitches are great as well. But uh, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I wish this would glitch. Like, I wish there were some cool glitches in here. I would like to show some of the stuff off. Yeah. Just so everybody knows as well, uh, while the, the the company Ocean eventually merged with Bandai Namco uh, and are still releasing titles, uh, this studio specifically uh, made a lot of old Kusoge classics like Dark Robocop. Man, Robocop 3, Ter a Terminator 2, not for not the one that we saw today, but some of the other versions out there. I, I think I think they made um, RoboCop 2 for the NES 2 as well. At least part of the people on this. Maybe. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. That's listed uh, in their history. They also worked on the ZX Spectrum version. <laughs> that has to be good. All right, well, Cat related pun is now also on to level two. Voltus will be there in a minute. Very right. nice. Yeah, but we've Voltus got... has no other lives left, right? Which is going to be a challenge. Blade Works but may that... also be there in just a little bit, yep. too. Yeah, the thing is, there are no continues, if I remember correctly. I don't think so. I, I told them they could use anything they find. So. Zeklor, thank you so much for those two gift subs. Seriously, huge help there. I'm wondering, what is the first real difficulty you think the players are going to run into? So, I, I mean, I think I think level two is kind of difficult, but not not in the difficult in sort of like, oh my god, this is just so hard. But like, there's a lot to keep track of, right? Because of, of where like everyone pops out and everything that's going on, you have to keep track of your time. Um, kind of everything pops out from everywhere. And if you miss a guy and they kind of keep shooting you, even if you're not taking a lot of damage, you're losing a lot of time. Okay. And so, right, like level two is about managing stuff. Level, thre level three is like a puzzle maze. Um, and that's, that's the real challenge. Yeah, this level 
Like, honestly, there are probably going to be some players who do not pass the level that the Kukri is on right now. It's, it's well, just really I, I difficult mean, to find them well. Right, I don't think... Um, yeah. Right, because I think, I think the last time we had this, we kind of had the same sort of thing, like, people, right, getting there pretty early. But... Um, then not knowing what to do, because there's a lot of things here that will just like... <laughs> the saw! <laughs> the saw the saw will kill you instantly. Yeah, I noticed. A and I guarantee it'll kill him at least one more time, right? Because he was only about half health, right? So was it a health problem? Was it... Right, whatever. So, like, that's going to be a problem. Oh, yeah. And, and the, saw, the saw is hard to avoid. Don't you duck so under you literally, it? You, yeah, you have, you, and you can't go over it, which is what he's trying to do. You literally have to walk a little bit and duck, and walk a little bit and duck, and walk a little bit and duck, and it takes a lot of time. Oh, I, I really enjoy this game, though. Like, yeah, it, it's very flawed, I would say, but at the same time, it's got some strange charm to it. Yeah, but I, I, I'm, okay, so he, he is trying to duck, but so, okay. like, the hitbox is super precise. Like, if that saw touches one <laughs> pixel on <laughs> like one pixel on you anywhere, you die. Like saws are one hit kills. So yeah. here's the thing. There's no continues. Yeah, that makes it really, really <laughs> difficult. But like like getting through levels one and two, right? You know, so they're I in the the reason I'm kind of okay with that in this game, right? They give you five lives. Right. And yes. getting through levels one and two are not like, once you know what's up, not a problem. And, you know, mind you think that, oh, well, you know, whatever, they'll have difficulty. Look, I loaded up this game. I haven't played it since 2018. Right. And I could get through level one, no problem. Uh, and, and I'm usually bad at games. So uh, they'll, they'll get through it just fine. Right. So that means you. Yeah. You know, I expect, right, on their, even on their first continue, they're going to get to level three with probably three or four lives. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and then, then we'll start to really see things. So the important things with level three, right, so we'll talk about a little bit while we're, we're waiting on um, everybody else to get there, right? Voltus and uh, Bladeworks Master both have two lives, so that'll be interesting. Cat-related pun has... You know, one extra, um, and they should all be there pretty soon. Yeah, I think so. So, the big thing is you have to get past the bear, and then speaking of, of getting past it, um, cat-related pawn just got to level three. Um, you have to go get the knife so you can go fight the bear, so that you can work your way out the top, right? And so everything's kind of pointed together. And if you go to the bear without getting the knife, the bear's just going to punch you in the face and you die. Right. If you go to the bear with the knife, the bear's going to punch you in the face, but you're going to stab the bear in the face. Um, so you're probably not going to die. Mm -hmm. By the way, I found the story from the manual. I haven't found the manual, but somebody wrote the story from it. Uh, but let me go ahead and read this for to you, Corn Dan, so we can know what's up. Okay. Not satisfied with being a prince, Valian wants to become a knight. Only King Arthur can bestow this honor to any who prove themselves worthy by deed. He must find the legendary Viking Ring of Peace and take it to Arthur's palace at Camelot. The quest begins in treacherous marshland, where every step is potentially lethal, armed with a mere crossbow. Or, or rocks, I guess. Uh, the prince must fight his way through a vast forest inhabited by cutthroats and thieves down into the underground caverns through the, the deadly maze to the ring's resting place. Now he must cross the stormy sea and battle the hostile Viking armada to reach Camelot. Arthur's Hall lies beyond the labyrinthine maze of corridors and passageways. Will Prince Valiant make it and fulfill his dream of knighthood? I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Well, not in an hour. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is... This, this game is definitely very challenging and uh, brutal. Like, 
honestly, watching the Kukiri at the bottom left right now, only one life left going into the second screen of the game, I would probably just reset. Like, yeah, maybe. You know, this this is not much to go on. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the big difficulty in level one is just like these precision jumps. Oh yeah, this this water part, like because it it doesn't make any logical sense why like things oh, work mean, the way that they do. I mean, it look it, it, it's a test. It's a test from God to become a knight. It's non isometric platforming on an isometric background. Okay, that is a crime. At, yeah, you go to jail for doing this. I checked. So there, Wait, there, there are continues. Continue. Yeah, you can get continues, but they only give you like three lives or something. Yeah. But so. All right. But yeah, so the, the point here is trying to figure out and, and cat related pun well, they'll have a couple more lives, right? Only to um, die again. Is but but you have to find the right doors and everything to go through. Um, I, I will say, right, so far in um, Discord chat, we are getting that. Um, well, Kuchiri is, is is a little tilted over that game over, um, which I can. I, I can and, understand that, yeah. And cat-related pun is just saying the jump button's a bit unreliable. Slightly. A little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, the game is a little bit rude, but cat-related pun is on to the dungeon here. I think a little bit more progress than anybody else yep. at this point. Uh, but because this place is a little bit non-linear, uh, it'll take a little while to figure out where they need to go and what they need to do in order to make progress. Yeah, and, and a lot of it is, honestly, you know, what triggers do you hit? So, um, cat-related pawn has hit the first one. There are a lot right, of places and here's you like don't the... need to go here. Well, there, you do need to go through most of them. You just don't need to go through them, like, immediately, right? Because you, after you get the dagger, you have to make your way to Punch Bear. True. So, but, there's so much here, right, that is just awful that, like, you have to be super precise on that in some of these cases, right, you have to, they're like, that gate opening is timed. Dang it, I'm really trying to find, like, find out what and, and the, in this case, oh, go ahead. that opens up a gate somewhere else, not here. Yeah, this game is a little bit rough. I it, it, it this game is hard. Like I really do enjoy this game. Cat related pun. Getting a game over there. Yeah, it's one continue. Yeah, these guys are all like, oh yeah, um, things are. You know, this is. You know, great, it seems real good. I don't see the problem here, and now I think they're seeing it. Uh, by the way, Cat Related Pun asked for a position check, and uh, we do allow players to do that in Discord. However, we don't tell people how far ahead or behind they are from other people. And Blade Works Master actually made a good push there, uh, pretty much locking. Uh, a tie for second between him and the Kuk, uh, Kuchiri. I don't know how to say it. Kuchiri? Kuchiri, or it could be like the Kakri karaoke village, like in Zelda. 
you know, where everybody's just standing around and singing, uh, singing great Korean pop tunes. <laughs> yes, uh, that's that's how things go. <laughs> uh, I guess. Ah, uh, chat says Kuchiri. Okay, Phantom. I'm gonna take your word for it, and if it's not that, then I'm gonna blame you. <laughs> See, and that's how uh, you pass the buck. Yeah, have a buck you don't want? Just give it to Phantom SVT. I mean, I, I have $2 sitting at my desk, but I do kind of want them. Oh, I don't. I have some used batteries. How about a paper wow. towel? You want a paper towel? Phantom? I do not I want a paper towel. Well, I'm not going to give it to you. I'm not trying to pass the buck to you, Corbin. I mean, th this sounds like something... If you're going to sell used paper towels, this sounds like something that would go on Reddit. <laughs> oh, sadly. Uh, you know, or something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, th this has been a pretty... Oh, let me go ahead and reload Masterworks... Or er, Blade at the top left. Their stream is down, and I will let them know. Yep. It happens occasionally. Welcome to the internet in the year 2021. Yeah, yeah. You know, just wait. When we can stream telepathically in the future. Oh no, internet disconnection. Wait, wait. We might have Blade back. Maybe. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Kucheria also asked for a position check. There in second. Yes. And Blade is back. Now, in the event when people have internet difficulties, especially if they need to step away from the computer and do a little work to get things running again. Uh, we sometimes do grant a little extra time, uh, a little bonus time to the players. I don't know if that was significant enough, uh, if you even really need to step away, uh, but uh, that is something that we do offer at times if needs be, especially if the match is very close between players. Looks like Blade is fighting a snake. Yeah, it's, it's a cobra in the water. I mean, don't don't question it. Ah, the fire spitting cobras. I remember yeah, I... that about England. This takes place in England, right? I mean, maybe. It could take place in the US, who knows? One's well, Prince Valiant. Prince Valiant. What's the plot, anyway, of the, of the show? I mean, it's a it's a U.S. comic, so it could take place in the U.S. Uh, Days of King me, Arthur. I mean... Okay. A uh, Nordic you know... prince from Thule on the Norwegian coast. Okay, this is Norway. Norway has the okay. fire spitting snakes. So I'm I'll, I'll ask my Norway. Scandinavian friends, you know, how that works out. <laughs> I like it. Uh, he does travel to Camelot. Uh, so, and then he travels to Africa and America and later helps. Oh, this could be anywhere then. Oh yeah. my gosh. I mean, these could be the swamps of Louisiana. <laughs> Looks like Louisiana to me. I've only seen pictures though. And, and it's log cabins that could be like oh. anywhere, right? Save Lincoln days. Yeah. I mean, apparently, I'm trying to find out when uh, this takes place. Well, King Arthur days. Okay. The strip was created in 1939. Uh, I'm pretty sure log cabins weren't really 
the thing in King Arthur's days, though. I don't know. I don't know what kinds of cabins they had. Well, I, I mean, that's true. I, I mean, I think Drumboarders got it right. We're sniping people on Roanoke. We're the reason they disappeared. Oh, no! Well, I mean, technically, my ancestors might be part of that reason. Ah. Yay. Yay. Uh, history in the U.S. Your ancestors were Prince Valiant? Uh... No. However, you know the evil king in Braveheart? Yeah. yeah. The guy that is, uh, was my ancestor. Like, the real one. Not the fake Braveheart movie one, but the real one that he was based off of my ancestor so i've got i've got royal evil blood i mean in theory i do we, we can verify that i can wear uh the stuart tartan so because the clan the clan my family's from was an offshoot of that and i forget when they offshoot it so in theory I, i'm related to some level of scottish royalty uh -huh. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, at this point in uh, world history, most people are related to some sort of, or they have some sort of royal ancestry somewhere. It's just that very few exercise the power like I do. <laughs> and I do it by being like my evil ancestors and torturing people. Well, it's, yes. It's fun. It's fun, okay? I just can't wait to be king, you know? <laughs> Ooh. I'm not sure that that's what that song is about. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that out there, but that is probably not what that song is about. I don't know. I think Simba probably tortured plenty of fellow lions who betrayed him later on. I mean, it was just his uncle. Well, okay, but what about between Lion King 1 and 2? What caused all of the other lions to, like, get out of the Pride Lands, huh? Probably Simba being like, yeah, you can stay, but we're going to go ahead and uh, make you fight to the death. And then they're like, no, we're just leaving. I, I don't think that that's how it works either, right? I mean, I think Simba just has relatives and other pride somewhere else. Have you even seen Lion King 2? No. <laughs> but I'm sure I can sum up the plot as well as you can. Look, it, it's actually a relatively decent movie compared to most Disney sequels. It has a few really good songs. Uh, it also has a really crappy song by Rafiki. Uh, I don't talk about that, though. That was weird. Uh, on an unrelated Disney note, the live-action Mulan movie is actually pretty good. What? I read ravaging reviews of that. Like, I, I mean, if you're going in expecting exactly a live-action like version of Mulan, you're going to be disappointed. If you go in going, I want a story that's kind of the same story, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, other people are saying you've got the hot takes. Yeah, I... I haven't seen it. Look, I, I didn't pay money for it, right? It's on Disney Plus now, and I don't have to pay the extra money to see it because it's brand new or whatever. So <laughs> we watched it today. Disney it's not that Plus. bad. I do. I have a five-year-old. Oh, okay. Never mind. You're kind of contractually obligated as a parent to pay for Disney. Uh, also, yeah, you know, it was Disney Plus and thirty dollars when it came out. Now it's just Disney Plus. Anyway, also. Right, the Marvel stuff is on Disney Plus, and I like that. So, you know, there is a compromise somewhere in there, and Disney Plus even has the old, like, the old goofy cartoons and stuff like that. Dang it, no! Corn Dad, now you want me to get Disney Plus. I was thinking I'll only get it if they have, like, like, they have, like, the Breaking old shorts Bad and everything. And stuff like that. <laughs> so, like, like, I mean, yeah. Like, it's not all just like, oh my God, it's gotta be Mickey Mouse or whatever, right? Like, you know, if it's a Disney property, it's probably in there, right? And that includes, Does it you have know, the like, cat all the Marvel from outer stuff. space, huh? Does it have the cat from know. outer space? Well, 
I don't have Disney Plus, so I can find out. It has, yeah, I mean, it does have the Muppet Show. Well, I'm not going to go pull it up and look for you, but I will later. Um, you know, but, but so I, I have that and I have uh, Discovery Plus because that's cheaper than trying to get cable for the few like channels we would watch. Um, and, and BattleBots is great and my kid loves it. So, you know, I'll pay five bucks for BattleBots. <laughs> it does have the cat from outer space. Okay, never mind. Maybe I have to get it now. Uh, so, right, you know, we've talked about the, um, the saw blades being lethal. So are the barrels. Yeah. Uh, mind you, the cat from outer space is very important because the cat talks and it has a collar. And right, I think it fine. does mind control. It has some sort of tele telepathetic, telepathic powers. I don't remember. But I, I mean, honestly, Disney Disney did a fair a fairly good job about putting a, a really broad swath of like everything right on there absent-minded professor the original flubber is dang it no uh, uh. now you're gonna go get it aren't you i actually and really you... don't like the original okay i think it's very boring but and, and, and then and then you're gonna watch it for wandavision which is fantastic um, for those who haven't seen it yet. i want to see wandavision oh, wandavision's stop. really good and i'm interested in um Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the first episode came out yesterday, and it looks interesting. Like, I watched it, and I'm interesting on where it's going to go. But WandaVision's great. Oh, oh my gosh, they have bed knobs and broomsticks. If anybody wants to watch a movie and feel like they're having a fever dream and you've never seen that, that is the movie. They have a whole song about a road named Portobello Road. Yeah. Look, all, all you need to know about that is I contend that that movie takes place in the Murder, She Wrote universe. Basically, I watched it as an adult, and let me just say, somehow it made more I sense when I was a kid. kid. Well, it made more I, sense I, when I was a kid. I don't understand what's happening in it now. All right, so we've got Voltus here and, and Blade Works Master both on um, stage three. And so Voltus just learned something, right, that we haven't talked about. Right, if those gates come down on you, you die. Oh, yeah, that's fun. It also has the Shaggy DA. Yeah, for all you transformation fiends out there who like to see people turn into dogs and then do detective work, that's for you. Well, I mean, so I think here, right, um, Blade Works Master's probably the closest. I think right up here is where, yeah, you get the knife, the, the dagger, knife, whatever, right? And so getting that is literally progress. So that puts right now Bladeworks Master in first. Good job, Bladeworks Master. Uh, yeah. The cat related pun is actually saying that uh, they really like this game. I yeah, really like this game too. Like, it's got problems, but I really enjoy playing it. The music isn't great. Like the graphics, some of them are meh. I, I don't, I don't even mind the music. The graphics are definitely dated for the NES. If this had come out in like eighty-eight, eighty-nine, or something, we'd be talking about how great they were. Yeah, I, I think so. Like especially that rope. But I've seen Atari games with ropes of that quality. You know, like, you know. So, so this were kind of. Uh, you know, we're kind of outside like this. Okay, so I'm waiting for what's going to happen here. In inevitably, what will end up happening is somebody will try to go to hit that, <laughs> miss, here come the bees. and hit the bees. Oh, yeah, those bees you do not want. Oh, the spider! Spider out of nowhere getting <laughs> Blade Works Master. Yep. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. All right, so, so now Kuchiri is in stage three. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, so far everybody has, has complained about the instant kill things in this level, which is why, right, we have been on level three for 20 minutes. Yeah, honestly, uh, you said that you didn't expect anybody to beat this. I hope that we at least see Punch Bear. I, I expect, so I expect we'll see Punch Bear. I, I don't expect that we'll get completely through the stage. I, I would love to be pleasantly surprised, right? I, you know, I think this game is fun to show off, but right, the last time we didn't, and you know, a lot of it is depending on how well you play stages one and two, you come into level three with not a lot of lives. And yeah. right, and stage three is by far the most lethal stage, and you know, right, in all of this. Stage four is going to be interesting if we get there because you're firing off cannons. It's it's great. Okay. Right, you're on a ship. Getting a little buffering there. I will restart. I'll do a quick refresh on all of the streams so that we can get everybody caught back up here. So, um, Uchiri did get the knife, puts him in, in second place. Very nice. So now, once you get the knife, the next goal is to go find and kill Punch Bear. Punch, punch, punch. So where Kuchiri is at is, um, as they just found out, a little bit, right, like, misleading. You think you want to be over there, right? Yeah. And, and, and you're just gonna, like... Oh, yep. Th this stage is so brutal. Uh, Cat-related pun is asking for a position check. Uh, they're in third. Third right now? Yeah. So having the knife is legitimate huge progress. Um, which is necessary, right, to kill Punch Bear. You cannot kill Punch Bear and you cannot make progress without the knife. Oh my gosh, Corn Dan, I need to tell you. Disney Plus has Jonas Brothers, the 3D concert experience, baby. I, I'm sure they do. I Right, so some I'll, of the, these... Yeah, go ahead. This, like, the, these... um. You know, like Disney Plus, Discovery Plus, stuff like that, like where I pick them up because I know like I, I want one or two sort of things. Yeah. Right? Like inevitably you're gonna get nothing. Right, like Discovery Plus, I'm not gonna lie, I get some of the Discovery stuff, the Battle Bot stuff is great, right? Like that's a uh and, and stuff like that. And and Food Network and History Network. Right, history channel but then you get like 600 pounds in dating or something like that <laughs> uh what like place pretty, is kuchiri I, I, in um so they're in second because blade works master got to the knife first so the next okay. real progress in that is punch bear yeah, Punch Bear after that. So Blade Works and the Kuchiri, if they manage to get to Punch Bear, uh, that will be a sign that one of them has moved into a solid first. Oh my gosh, I'm... This is being a lot of fun looking through this list of everything. Yep. And, and, uh, and they're both getting closer right that yes what you need to do from where they were at where they keep dying right is open the gate run under the gate right there's a door over there um get you go there you'll get to a lift you want to go all the way up and take the lower time there then go all the way to the left um ignore the one Right, then on the springboard, you go for a little bit, you get to the ladder, and that'll get you to Punch Bear. So, they're getting there. Okay, yeah, it's 
it still is just a really brutal stage since there are so many death traps. Like, <sighs> that that's the thing with a game like this. It's not very long, so they probably were just like, we gotta put, make that stage hard. And only one continue, because otherwise people will beat this in like half an yeah. hour. Yeah, it is. It is tough. And that's just, that's just how it goes. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Well, I, I suppose back at that time, you know, I'm just trying to think though, like development time for this game might Probably have taken not very a, long. Not very long for, you know, a release that was going to be in a very central, like, one location. It wasn't going to come out in the yeah. U.S. Okay, so... I so don't you think know they put sucks? too much into it. Yeah? Cat-related pun, right, gets past the first one, lands on the second platform and dies, right? And, and so barely missed getting to the checkpoint of where the saw on the ground is by, yeah. like, pixels. Oh, that is rough. <laughs> oh no, this room, I know this room, the barrel room. It's the barrel room, but you don't need to be here. <laughs> yeah, I like the barrel room. So Voltus, if you notice, right, is now going into this with five lives. That's a lot, that really, like- So I expect- I expect a lot of progress out of Voltus. I, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if Voltus gets into second, you know, or, you know, gets the night, gets into third, and maybe even second or first year, le yeah. legitimately. Uh, same. Same. The thing is, Voltus has always been a strong player in Cusa Grande. Yep. I would fully expect Voltus to, uh, if anybody here does have a comeback, Voltus is high up in the possibilities. Uh, yes. Yeah, now, and Voltus I didn't want thinks... to tell people that when they were voting, okay? <laughs> but honestly, uh, my points would be on Voltus. I, I, I would not bet against Voltus, even with where we're at. Okay. How about that? Yeah, uh, that's fair. Voltus is taking a lot of deaths pretty quickly, though. Yes. So what I'm hoping Voltus does, right? Voltus is going through each one of the rooms, which is the right oh, thing no. to do if you've never seen him. I don't think Voltus has seen all of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this room is not okay. Okay, Voltus is through, almost died from the saw blade. Took an arrow to the head, not really dangerous at all though. You can take like 10 before you die. Yeah, the arrows are not that bad, no. Hey, Gucci is through stage one, saying in Discord, deathless stage one. Yeah, I mean, that's a big deal. This thing is... That's huge. I like, mean, you're still, you're going to lose all the lives in level... Uh, right, in, in level three anyway. Well, the thing is, if you get there with all of your lives and a continue, that's going to really help you take the time to figure out where you need to d go yes. and what to do. Blade works, death by buzzsaw. <laughs> so Voltas is going to go back and forth here because oh, um, yeah. I did and everybody else is going to like, oh, I, I, I made that hit, right? That should raise that gate. Yeah. No, this is just a red herring. Yeah. Yeah. But both Voltus and uh, cat-related pun are doing the same thing, right? Bladeworks Master doesn't know that they need the knife. So what right? does that switch even it do? First. Does it do anything? I, I think it opens something later. Oh, okay. Right, like, but I'm not even certain on that. I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, okay, Voltis getting the game over there. Not yeah, a huge deal at this but, point. But uh, he's going back thinking it's... Well, I wouldn't want to go back to Barrel Room either. Well, he's going to have to. I know. I know, and it's going to lead to a game over, and then Voltus is going to be angry. Same. Same, though. So, at this point in time, Voltus should just be like, yep. Yeah, yep. There good. we go. Let's move on. Oh, <laughs> that jump. Oh, I thought he was going to... I thought that was death. I 100 thought... 100% thought that was going to be done. I have 100. So, yeah. So, Voltus here, right? Like, this is going to be the challenging one. It's actually easier. <laughs> yeah. To, to go back up, right? Because you can just jump over the barrels. Uh huh. You have to have really good timing, though. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh, I feel, I feel bad for Voltus. I just, know. Uh, Voltus does not want to use the last life, but I think it would be a good thing because that way there's at least one chance that you can get back here yeah. with extra lives. Oh, Voltus, no. No. So, and, and this is going to secure Voltus in third for sure. Um, cat related puns picking up the knife. There we go. Who's in fourth? Voltus is. Oh, okay. You well, said. I got confused. Okay. So, cat cat related pun needs to get on the knife and duck down. The <laughs> knife is there and they didn't even pick it up. No! Then again, I so, think I've I, seen I mean, that I before. guess that's, that's more progress than Voltus because Voltus hasn't seen the knife. So, Blade Works and Masters in first, the Kuchiri is in second, cat related pun in third, Voltus in fourth, and it's all based on where the knife is. Oh my gosh. I love that. Sort of. Hey, it looks like Kuchiri is moving into stage three, uh, claiming that he's going to make it to level four. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't that. think so. I, so. I appreciate the optimism. Cat-related pun is, if they had the knife, would be going the right direction. Well... Whatever, knives are optional, Corn Dan. Whoever needed uh, well, a knife. Well, if you fight a bear without a knife, you tell me how that goes. I'm not gonna fight a and bear. I, and I'll tell you how that's gonna go. The bear's gonna punch you in the face. Let me tell you what I'll do. I avoid the bear. No, where are you going, Kuchiri? This is not where you need to go. Oh my gosh, okay. So what, what I find interesting, right, and, and I love Right, because this was not how my playthrough went, right, for me, when I was testing this and when I was playing this, that, right, as soon as I saw that knife, right? Yes. I was like, well, I got to go get that knife every time. Like, that's very clearly something that looks like it's probably progress. Oh, yeah. Cat-related pun is asking for the position, and I believe it is third. There we go. Yeah. So here's the deal. We've got 10 minutes left, everybody. We're getting close to the end of the match. It still really could be anyone's victory here. Like 100%. Play, yeah, the thing is, Kuchiri has so many lives at this point that there is a very decent chance. Oh, my gosh. Go, go back in the door, Kuchiri. <laughs> like, right, I fully can't... understand. Other people have been dinking around in this area for a lot longer than Kuchiri. Yeah. Okay, so so I think I, I think yeah, I think they're just like You know, nope, nope, well, okay, let's move on, right? Cat-related pun, by the way, uh, sort of second-guessing a little bit. I think there's enough time for cat-related pun to get back. I think so. Yeah, but uh, well, uh, and, and they're I, saying I don't they think, think they're that, done. I, I think part of what's going on, right, is like... <laughs> people, people don't realize where, like, everybody else is at. Oh, yeah. 
right? So, you know, if you're getting there and you're struggling with this, well, clearly somebody has gotten further than you. And the answer is sort yes, of. but not by a lot. Yeah, do, do you need, do you need that in a little go bit? Go get the knife. Go get the knife. You hey. need the knife. Okay, Kuchari is going, going, I think, in the right direction. I don't know. Yes. I, I mean, they are going. So if they had the knife, this is the direction you would go. You would sit over here. So going in there isn't going to do you any good. It's not really going to, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> These barrels, I hate them. Cornet, Kuchiru tried to go in the door, but I unfortunately know. wasn't quite there. Oh, how do you go in the door? Well, that door you can't go through. Oh, that's the punch bear door. No, it's not. Wait, you just can't oh, you go can... in that door? Yeah, yeah, you just... Why is there a door if you can't go in the door? I don't understand. So now the door is that will take them back to kind of the beginning, which is actually good for them. Yes. Right, because knife they need to go here, get right? the knife. The knife is here. Yeah, I love that Bladeworks Master is typing in Discord. Jumping is just off enough to get him every uh, yeah. time. Yeah. Okay, good job killing a ghost, Kokiri. Okay, so Kuchiri. so get the get the yeah, Kuchiri. Kuchiri. Okay, so now where do we go from here? We go back out the door. Go we go there. back up. So instead of the door you came into here, you go through the other one with the the swinging thing. Okay. Right with the the arrows. Um, what you can do is you can to make it safer on yourself, you can actually duck. Um until three arrows go by. Nope, nope, you want, okay, now go up, there we go. Okay, the rope. So if you duck here until three arrows go by, you, you won't get hit. Eh. All right, now all the way to the left here, right? Okay. So up, up the stairs, up on that. Wait for a second, no, don't go in there. Okay. He may have seen there, there's a gate there, right? So now you hit, uh, yeah, th those bees will keep coming after you. Not the bees. Like th th this is demonstrable progress. I, I mean, it really is getting through this area. Yeah. This part is really annoying if you do activate the bees. Yep. Uh, honestly, just going through the door and then coming back in is the and way back to do in. it. Yep. Yeah, but so in in Chiri's case, no. though. No, the bees. Yeah, get out but, of there. But at that point, yeah, either go back through, right, or... There we go. Is that a change? I think so. That's, I mean, that is progress on the way to Punch Bear. Good. I think we're going to see Punch Bear in just a hot minute. Not only that, but I think uh, the Kuchiri has continue. Yes. Good. Unfortunately, you're going to have to do the B thing again. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Okay. Okay. I understand. Deciding to try that door. I understand. I would probably be curious about it as well to see if I could ever make it in there. All right. Now. The bees. Yeah, but, but just go. Just keep going. Yeah, keep going. Right. Don't even worry about the bees. They'll hurt you a little bit. Big deal. He's got the right idea. Got the right... Okay, so <laughs> now what you have to do here is, yep, just jump straight up on it. This is almost Punch Bear, guys. We're almost to Punch Bear. Just straight up. Do yep. you eventually get more height? Yes. Okay. But only if you jump straight up. Or do you have to time? You, your you, jump? you have to. You have to time your. Well, that's but, hard, corn dad. But he's I don't do that. so. Here's the other thing. You want a, a small jump here, um. 
Yeah, I imagine Another you one. can avoid the bees completely. Uh, yeah, it, it, if you time that jump better, you can time the... So this is this is definitely in first. Because literally up that door yeah. is Punch Bear. Oh my gosh, you can do it! I've got faith! I want to see the bear! I want to see him punch you in the face! Okay, last life. Don't hit the... Don't hit the beehive. So if he jumps sooner from where, like, basically from, like, where he's at now, you'll miss the beehive on the way down. Yep. However, not happening here. Other than that, stand straight. Yep. Just gotta time the jump. Oh, you literally just have to hit the jump we're button. We're not gonna see the when bear. You land on the, we're not gonna... Oh, no. No bear today. No punch bear. Unless... Oh my gosh, we might see Punch Bear. Yes. Okay, it's Punch Bear time. Punch Let's Bear! see how this goes. Oh, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Punch Bear's coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's definitely first place. I love it. Oh, good old Punch so, Bear. Blade Works Master is already in second. Right, uh, Voltus could get to. I, I didn't see if Voltus got the knife. Um, but if Voltus did get the knife, Voltus could get the second by going through this. Yeah, uh, does. Right, but I don't. I, I would have to check with Cadis. I didn't see if um, Voltus got the knife because because <laughs> if Voltus did get the knife, that's second place. Oh, I love that Kuchiri asked me for uh, for placement. I'm like, I'm not going to tell you. It's not going to help or hurt you at this point. <laughs> okay. Well, we are here in the last few seconds we'll know of if, if the Voltus match. has the knife. So Voltus never got the knife. Voltus does not have the have knife. You have to have the knife to open up the door. So, so Voltus... If Voltus had gotten the knife, that would be second place. However, unfortunately, Voltus, Voltus did not. not. That is not second place. That is, that is time, though. We are done with this match. Oh, my gosh. That was a lot of fun, Corndan. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get yelled at. We are going to get yelled at. <laughs> I guarantee it. I'm uh, inviting Kuchiri in to come discuss. Honestly, oh, okay, here, here he is. Hello there. Uh, hi. <laughs> hey, congratulations <laughs> on your victory today. Oh my God, I, the second I saw the bear, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, we call him Punch Bear. Uh. <laughs> He's really good at punching. Uh, yeah, we've had this game a few times in the past and I uh, love we, to we've see had it. it. We've had it once in a gauntlet state, I think. Okay, once mm -hmm. in a gauntlet state. There we go. Yeah. So, uh, walk me through it a little bit, Kuchiri. Uh, you you managed to take the victory. What are your thoughts of this game? It, okay, so the first level felt really good. Like I felt like I played similar games to it. I don't think I played this one exactly, but I, you know, I'm 30 years old. I played a whole bunch of like. Uh, NES games, Super Nintendo games, you know, it, it felt similar. 
Um, I know I didn't step on those, but were those like pitfall traps in the first stage that I kept on jumping over? Uh, I, I believe so, yes. Uh, if you just oh, walk into them, you do fall to your death. Oh, okay, like, because I was like, there's a square here. I don't think I need to touch these squares. <laughs> Let's jump over them. <laughs> Wait, see, I would have been the person who right at the beginning tried walking into it to see if I needed to worry about them. Then I would have died. Mm. But <laughs> uh, I, I think I came into this because this is my very first Crucia Grande match. Um, and I think I went into this thinking, okay, expect everything's going to go wrong. You know, so I'm like, okay, those look bad. Let's avoid them. Those yeah. look bad. Let's avoid them. <laughs> Definitely a, a, a good uh, intuition there. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, <laughs> people in Discord are a little bit confused about what progress is here. Uh, yeah, the thing is, Bladeworks Master got to the knife and grabbed it. Cat related pun, I think, got there. Did they pick it up, Corndan? I don't think so. I don't know what that was. More progress I did not than know. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I don't even know what that was until I got to the bear fight. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so you know, <laughs> There's no obvious reason. There's a gate in the level for some reason that only opens if you have the knife. There's no really visual cue at all that that's what you need in order to get through that gate, but you have to have the knife to get through there. I mean, like, I thought it was like some sort of key because there was a door for some reason that I couldn't walk into in one of those that, barrel rooms. Th that door just doesn't open as far as I know. Oh, wow. That was like, so, you know, I found the the thing the one time. I thought it was a cross, to be completely honest, whenever I first picked it up. And I'm like, oh, OK, well, I might need to use the cross for something. And then one of my lives, I just wanted to explore just to be like, you know, let's find out more about this map. Because I was going to use the last 20 minutes to do a deathless run, which is why I did. Um, and then I was just going to grab everything I can, you know, just like a final test because I in, in my mind I was assuming stage four was going to be first place right and so you know I I did all the exploring then in my last set of lives I decided to go grab that thing and I I had no clue what it was I thought that it was the key to that gate that I kept on trying to go back to <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I, that door there like I kept asking Corin Dan what's that door for he's like nothing like what do you mean nothing he said doesn't open. Nothing. You can't ever go in it. Nope. <laughs> that is so weird. Like it's ocean. You know, I, it's ocean. I, I, I get down there and I look like you grow. You 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 glow gray. So I'm like, oh, it must be something I don't have yet. Um. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, so, um, yeah. I I really enjoyed watching this though. It, it was a lot of fun and honestly, you did super well. I'm glad that we got to see. Uh, even if it was just like 10 seconds of Punch Bear, he's a he's a stream favorite, you know, um. <laughs> we all love him. So a uh, question for you. Do you, this is your first Cusa Grande, right? Mm hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah. How did how did you find out? Have you been watching for a while? Um, I've seen a bit of it hit here or there. I've been I'm I have a lot of friends that, you know, around like games and quick. So like I'm friends with uh, Beep Salt. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, so I, I've known about it. I've always kind of wanted to get into it. And I think I I either three or four, I signed up for it. But then I chickened out last second. Um, <laughs> and so, like, I, I know I've tried and then uh, Mystery Funhouse, other mysteries game series. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I know I, I, I've also chickened out that. And I was like, you know what? I'm I, I want to do it. I want to do it for real, you know. I was wholly expecting to be juggling a kangaroo or fighting Yakuza as Chuck Norris or... Well, I, I mean, you you did, you got to punch a bear. You I got to punch Red... a bear with a cross key knife. I was Sora. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, this so, is So Kingdom how did Hearts. you feel about all the saw blades? The saw and the blade. barrels? Fucking hated them. I, I think I said. It. Oh, sorry. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to curse. I'm sorry. We're allowed one of those each day, one or two. Oh yeah, just just one F bomb to keep it PG thirteen. Yeah, right. yeah, um, exactly. I uh, I think I even said in chat. I feel like I will have more enjoyment in this game if those were like one fifth health takers. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, for sure. They're I OP. Them. They're so dumb. And, like, I had no idea, like, it, well, when I first got to the first swinging one, I was like, can I even duck underneath this? And that's why I ran into it, like, twice. Like, I don't think I could duck underneath this. And then, you know, finally I started ducking. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm a dummy. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, honestly, it's just one of those games. Uh, and honestly, Punch Bear is really difficult to deal with, even if you have a good amount of life going into it. it the, the, the strategy for Punch Bear is literally charge him and just start attacking, hitting the attack button as fast as possible, because there's no way you're ever going to not take damage from Punch Bear. So you just need to deal damage faster than he deals it. Yep. Oh. So, do so you st- me, going, oh, go me going in there with half health. Yeah, that, that was not good. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> fine. Like, you had no way of knowing. Yeah. yeah. So, do you stream anything else over at your channel? Um, mostly retro. I uh, do a lot of Mega Man, Castlevania, Final Fantasy. Ooh, okay. Um, I, I've been trying to get more to horror stuff. I sometimes, you know, uh, stream Yu-Gi-Oh! Um just whatever i feel like i also you know if anyone ever wants to see me play something i'm one of those that i'm okay with you know make play that game Mm -hmm. you know yeah well everybody if you'd like go ahead and check out uh the kuchiri it's the at the beginning on twitch right yeah no um for some reason i had a regular kuchiri that somehow can't stream and i don't know why (laughs) Um. (laughs) yeah welcome to twitch occasionally (laughs) well everybody you feel free to go give some love to the various players the names that we have up on the layouts we try to keep them consistent with the twitch names so that you're able to go and follow them thank you so much we've got four more matches coming your way tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. We would love to see you here. And remember, there is no shame being bad at playing bad games uh, because they're bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) and and sometimes they're fun. Prince Valiant is fun, except except Sawblades. I think most of the games today, I would be fine playing more. Uh, So do we have a good raid message, anybody? Um, I I know that... uh, Punch Bear? Possibly. I know the chat usually has some favorite phrases from the earlier games as well. Buff? Oh my gosh, Buff was a good one. Yeah, let's do Buff. I like Punch Bear and all, but let's go Buff. Uh, Feel free to add some uh, exciting emotes and explosions and stuff, because that's a really good sound effect. Buff! Thank you, everybody. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. See ya, Kuchiri. Yep, see you. Thank you. Bye, Corn Dan. Bye. Bye.